So you've just bought your brand new Shuttle Pro version 2 or your Shuttle Express. In this video, I'm gonna show you where you download the driver, how you install it, and how to check whether your device is working correctly. So this process is exactly the same whether you're using the Shuttle Pro version 2 or the Shuttle Express, but for this example, we're gonna be using the Shuttle Pro version 2, and I'm gonna be referring to it as just the Shuttle from now on. So the first thing you need to do is head over to the Contour Design website. The web address for the Contour Design website in the UK is contour-design.co.uk and this may vary depending on which country you're trying to access it from. If for any reason you end up on the wrong country's website, just head up to where it says United Kingdom or whatever country it says for you and then you'll be presented with a list of different countries and a list of different languages. For example, if I click on Germany, it takes us through to the German website. So once you're on the correct country's website, I want you to select support from the top menu bar and then scroll down until you see drivers, click read more. You can either select mice and keyboards or Contour Shuttle. I'm going to click Contour Shuttle and it will direct us down the web page to the section that we need to look for. And then you want to select the most recent driver for your operating system. And as you can see, this driver works with both the Shuttle Pro version 2 and the Shuttle Express. So just click on the version number to start the download. Once your download is complete, just go to your downloads folder and you should find this zip file. Just double click it and then double click CDI underscore shuttle underscore win. And the installation wizard will open. So you just want to click next. And yes, I agree with the terms of this license agreement and next. And this is where you choose where you want the shuttle configuration tool to be installed. In my case, it's the C drive. So I'm gonna click next and we're ready to install the program. So we press next again and just wait for it to be installed. And then you should see installation complete. I'd highly recommend you tick this checkbox that says open the contour control panel so you can start configuring your shuttle device straight away. And then just click finish. And at this point, it's time to plug in our shuttle. So let's take a look at the driver itself. In the top left hand corner, you have application setting. This is where you select which application you'd like to start configuring with your shuttle device. It is worth mentioning you can use the shuttle with multiple applications at the same time and the shuttle will automatically switch between profiles depending on which application has focus. Let me just give you a little example. We're just going to close the shuttle configuration tool and then we're going to head down to our taskbar. And you can see this icon is for the shuttle configuration tool and we're just going to drag it down onto our taskbar and there you can see that's where it will live. So if I open up Google Chrome and Photoshop and then I hover over the shuttle configuration logo, it tells me that Photoshop has focus. If I then select the Chrome browser and then go back to the shuttle configuration tool, it tells me that Chrome has focus. So the shuttle will switch between configurations. So this can be really useful if you have a completely different configuration for one application than you do to another one. The shuttle will automatically switch. I'm just gonna give you a brief overview of the settings within the Contour Shuttle device configuration tool, but we will be taking a look at it in more detail in future videos. You can see that when I press one of these buttons on the shuttle, the corresponding button in the shuttle configuration tool will highlight green. That means I can configure that button to do whatever I want. And as I go through the buttons, you can see the corresponding buttons highlighting within the shuttle configuration tool. On the right hand side, you're configuring what action you would like the button to perform. So at the moment we have button 13 selected, which is this button right here. At the moment that button is selected to be a keystroke, but you can change that to be a mouse click to switch the settings or to become a macro. Just a quick point, the macro functionality is only available on the Shuttle Pro version 2, not the Shuttle Express. You can customize which key you would like that to be. So for example, we're just gonna change that button to be an A instead. And underneath that, you've got frequency. At the moment, it's set to only click once. So when I press that button, the A key will only be pressed once. You could set it so that when you push that button, it would press the corresponding keystroke as many times as you like. Again, we'll look at the settings in more detail in future videos. 
Thank you for watching this quick start guide for the Shuttle Pro version 2 and the Shuttle Express. I'll see you again very soon.